In the dorsal approach to the gripplasty procedure, a dorsoradial incision is centered over the thumb CMC joint at the border of the glabrous and non-glabrous skin. Vulnerable anatomy is identified and protected. The interval between the extensor pollicis brevis EPB and the abductor pollicis longus APL is incised and the tendons retracted. The capsule is incised longitudinally, taking care to preserve the insertion of the APL and a trapeziectomy is performed. All loose bodies and osteophytes between the first and second metacarpals are removed. The APL is retracted dorsally and a trajectory K-wire is inserted at the trapezium articular facet and directed obliquely to exit in the intermetacarpal space. The parallel guide assembly is formed by placing the K-wire guide sleeve into the parallel wire guide. This assembly is placed over the trajectory K-wire in an orientation which seats well onto solid bone. The guide K-wire is inserted through the parallel guide assembly and advanced bicortically. The K-wire guide sleeve is removed. The cannulated drill bit is advanced bicortically over the trajectory K-wire, then removed along with the K-wire. Finally, the parallel wire guide is removed. The index arm of the T-handle is advanced over the guide K-wire and the anchor inserter is aligned with the pilot hole. Using soft taps of a small mallet, the anchor is advanced past the distal cortex and the sutures under the blue clipped marked eye are released. The anchor is deployed by gently pulling back and forth on the two strands to toggle the anchor into place. Once deployment is confirmed, the guide K-wire can be removed. A trajectory K-wire enters at the most palmar aspect of the radial side of the thumb metacarpal base and is directed obliquely through the distal cortex. The parallel guide assembly is now placed over the trajectory K-wire and a guide K-wire is advanced bicortically. The K-wire guide sleeve is removed. The cannulated drill bit is advanced bicortically over the trajectory K-wire, then removed along with the K-wire. Finally, the parallel wire guide is removed. The thumb arm of the T-handle is advanced over the guide K-wire and the anchor inserter is aligned with the pilot hole. Using soft taps of a small mallet, the anchor is advanced past the distal cortex and the remaining sutures are released. The anchor is deployed by gently pulling back and forth on the two strands to toggle the anchor into place. Once deployment is confirmed, the guide K-wire can be removed. The apex of the V-sling is advanced towards the base of the index metacarpal, leaving the two arms of the sling positioned across the base of the thumb metacarpal. To tension the V-sling, alternately toggle or piston the white suture lines whilst the thumb is distracted. A provisional knot is tied on the white suture lines and the blue lines are sutured into the APL using a horizontal mattress technique and secured with a provisional knot. If surgically preferred, a portion of the flexor carpi radialis FCR can be harvested through the trapezial space to establish an additional biological interposition. Once proper seating of anchors and appropriate tension is confirmed, tie final knots over provisional knots, trim suture lines and close the incision as preferred.